Dr. Emmanuel Stella sued after patient died with needle in her arm. The controversial Dr. Stella Emmanuel, who claimed that hydroxychloroquine is a cure for COVID-19, was once sued for malpractice when a patient died with a met needle in her arm, a report has revealed. Although praised by U.S. President Donald Trump, Emmanuel has been criticized by health experts for her claims. The University of Calabar trained doctor said she had cured about 350 patients of COVID-19 using hydrochloroquine. It was revealed on Wednesday that the family of one of the Dr. Emmanuel patients filed a lawsuit claiming her negligence resulted in the death of Leslie Novell, who had complained about a methamphetamine needle that broke off in her arm. According to the lawsuit, Novell went into the Sabine Medical Center and was given medication, but no attempt was made to remove the needle fragment that had broken off inside her arm. Daily Mail reports. It was further gathered that Novell was taken to a hospital just hours after seeing Emmanuel because she was in so much pain. She died six days later in February 2019 of a flesh-eating infection in her arm. Police were unable to serve the 55-year-old doctor with a lawsuit in April because she no longer worked at the medical facility. She had at the time moved to Texas and now works at the Rehoboth Medical Center. Hosting Chronicle could not get her comment on Wednesday, although someone who answered the phone said she was out of town. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, see, I, of a truth, yes, this truly happened. This, this truly happened um this actually happened in the arm of dr stella of the truth she actually uh made this um mistake are you getting it and you believe me when i say that for once i've never been in support of the doc of this doctor but if we are to look at this that has just been um, said about her, um, that is uh, bringing back the error that she has committed as a medical professional. If we are to bring it back to, to uh, if we are to bring it back now and um, try to click it to what she has just um, said concerning the cure of COVID-19, you will see that, believe you me, it has nothing to do with this. The error she committed in the past concerning the mistake she made by um, forgetting a needle in the arm of a patient who later passed out has nothing to do with this. Yes. I, see, let me tell you something. This discovery that she has just done now may be a true discovery. Let us not take the mistake that she has made in the past and click to this discovery. I know why we are bringing up that mistake. We are bringing it up believing that that she is not a reliable medical professional. Do you understand? That the world should not believe our discovery. That our discovery may end up causing more 
death and infection into human. That is why we decided to go and make such out a past. My viewers, no one is perfect. No one that doesn't have a past. Everyone has a past. If you search yourself very well, you will see that you have a past. I have my past, but I will not allow my past to affect my present. Because if I keep thinking about my past, if I keep nursing my past in my heart, I cannot move forward. If Dr. Stella has allowed his past to jeopardize or stop her from moving on, she wouldn't have gotten to the level that she is today. You understand? So let us not judge her by the past error, but let us judge her by what she has brought out as a proof. See, I said something before. I said that why don't we take this at discovery to somewhere to a lab and carry out a test, a test check. If possible, we can still try it on a patient. Can still try it on a patient and see if it will really work out. There is a way of carrying out tests. Are we not medical personalities? Are we not me me medical people, medical professionals? Instead of making uh, making too much noise, let us go out there and do something. Let us go out there and make a research. Let us go out there and um, and and carry out a test on what she has claimed that she has she, that she has done and know if what she she has said is the truth. You understand? So let us stop criticizing her and do the needful. Look at it. It has been said that Donald Trump even even appreciated her and and believed in her research. So if you don't believe in her research, now what do you need? To, what you need to do is go out there, make your findings concerning what she has she, 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 she has claimed that can cure COVID-19, bring it up to the public because she has brought her own to the public, speak up and let the world know about it and stop painting her with um, all kinds of names. Just like the, the Nigerian Nollywood, Nollywood was trying to paint her by calling her a liar. That's um, the, uh, the person of um, this uh, Nigerian, uh, Nigerian US-based uh, actress. She understand? That's uh, Georgina. She understand? So let us not do that. It's not good. All right? So, um, my viewers, please, the truth must be told. Let us be, be careful. Let us be mindful. Let us be, be, be practical. Let us be realistic to ourselves and stop criticizing our neighbors unjustly. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, please, my viewers, your comments concerning all that has just been said are of great importance. Please, don't hesitate to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.